happy Sunday, friends. I'm on my way to the farmer's market. I've got a coffee. It's about nine in the morning. Benefits of not going out on a Saturday night, waking up early and getting to the market before it's a million degrees outside. I'm cooking dinner for some friends tomorrow. So today is gonna be a fun farmer's market shop. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna see what speaks to me. I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Discord. If you guys saw my last video, you already know the deal, but if you didn't, let me tell you. I started my own server on Discord and it's basically just a place for us to go, chat, and hang out. We're talking about our favorite cookbooks, our favorite restaurants. When I did my live chat last week, we were talking about Love Island. Basically just anything and everything we're discussing over there. You guys can leave any recipe or food related questions there and I'm checking in periodically to catch up with you guys. Discord has multiple features including text, voice, and stage channels, which lets you connect with your friends in different ways. I really wanna use it as a way to feel more connected to my community, which is you guys. So please download Discord, join my server. I'd love to chat with you. Like I said, I'm periodically checking into the server and chatting with you guys, answering your questions, but I'm also doing a live chat. So if you want live in real time responses from me, <laughs> You can download Discord, join my server, and join me this day and this time for a little live chat. I'll have all of the information written out in the description box as well. Thank you again to Discord for sponsoring this video, and thank you to you guys for being so kind and amazing and supporting me and just seriously being the best like i feel so lucky to have all of your support and just so grateful that you're all here like seriously you guys are the best To smash potatoes I got little purple ones and just regular Yukon Golds these are from Wiser Family Farms they grow the best potatoes I've ever had so we're gonna do a little medley and then I'm gonna take these beautiful little tomatoes with a couple of these peaches and some basil and make like a peach basil tomato situation. These are also from Wiser Family Farms. They're called Jimmy Nardellos. They're really good, like charred with some olive oil and like sesame seeds and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I got a bunch of limes because I'm gonna make a key lime pie. These are not key limes. Key limes are basically impossible to find. So we're just rocking with some regular limes. I already put away parsley, cilantro, mint, and basil, picked up a chicken at standings, and some other stuff for me to eat this week. This is my favorite salsa ever. It's so good. I go to the Hollywood Farmer's Market, by the way. It's the best. I got strawberry and blueberry. When I tell you this is the best yogurt I've ever had, like, I'm not kidding. And then I also bought some of their feta because it's delicious. Obviously picked up some flowers. These are so gorgeous. And then I got these ones for the living room and for my bedroom too. They're so beautiful. Like, are you kidding? If you guys are curious slash new to orange wine, this is a great first bottle to try or like if you already love orange wine this is great too this is one of my faves it's called fallen grape i'm going to show you guys my little hack of how to quickly chill some wine because this was not in my fridge you're gonna take a paper towel wet it and then you're basically just going to wrap 
your bottle and you're gonna stick this in the freezer. Don't forget about it in there because it will freeze and it might explode. So don't forget about it. I'm gonna leave it in there for probably like 20 minutes and then come back and see how cold it is because I'm kind of impatient and I wanna drink a little vino while I make this key lime pie. It's probably been like 30 minutes since I put it in there and you can tell that obviously the paper towel is now mostly frozen. Allison Roman's key lime pie recipe from Dining In. You can also find the same recipe online. I'll link it down below. It's super simple. Crust is out. It's looking a little golden. I'm like afraid of how flaky it is, but I think it's fine. Um, you know, I'm really not a baker, so hopefully it's gonna be fine. this crust I think it's too crumbly um, I'm not a baker at all so let's just hope that this is fine we'll check back in in 25 minutes I have anxiety 20 minutes Monday morning, AKA the day I'm cooking dinner for some friends I think my pie crust is too crumbly and I think that it like kind of came through the bottom, like the filling. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to remake this. This is why I don't bake, you guys. Like, I can cook all day long. Baking, it's not my thing. So I need to melt two tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of cocoa. I have the honey grams. I bought some cinnamon grams, because I saw these. So I think I'm gonna do half and half. Salt. Tablespoon sugar. So we should have six tablespoons total of this butter coconut oil mixture. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see how that goes and then see if we need more. I'm gonna add the rest of the liquid just because. My last crust was too dry and I just, I have PTSD. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. And it looks pretty good. So let's just say a prayer, shall we? Let's go in the oven for 10 minutes. With cooking, it just like, it comes naturally to me and I feel like there's so much wiggle room. You can really fix something even if you mess it up. But with baking, there's really no way around it. And here's the thing. I just think that this crust is too dry. And I'm like, is this recipe wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Like, it's really crumbly. Is it supposed to be like that? I think I need to do it again. There's like three ingredients in that. How do you mess it up? I don't know, but I did twice. Maybe Annie's graham crackers are extra dry. What do we think? This is PSA for Gabby, Clementine, Emma, and Gulliver. I really hope you like this pie. <laughs> this is the third time I'm making it. 
that's six tablespoons of fat, okay? There was no way that six tablespoons of fat was enough for this crust. I don't know, I ended up using literally like 10 or 12. It's like almost double the amount. Okay, let's bake it. for this like genuinely just throw all of the herbs that you have in a blender with some Greek yogurt lemon juice anchovy salt pepper olive oil and that's it I put it back in the Greek yogurt container just pop her into the fridge until later forget anything when packing up all of my stuff so I went through each of the dishes that I'm making and then put all of the ingredients slash like things I need I use my notes app for so much when like planning dinners and stuff I have my prep list down here I'm gonna start kind of setting out everything I need for the dinner so I'm gonna bring this olive oil I made this spice mixture for my chicken um, I'm gonna need garlic these are all the potatoes. I'm taking a red onion. Those are my peaches. Everything else kind of needs to be refrigerated. Pie is pretty much ready. I need to whip some cream. I'm taking those tomatoes. Green goddess. I need to spatchcock the chicken, so I'll probably do that right now. And that's kind of it. 